What's going on YouTube? It's Squadel here today bringing you guys a guide on how to get the ghostly robes. These are this is kind of a guide for all you newcomers to 07 Scape. And for this we're gonna the items required is the ghost week amulet you, you get from the restless ghost. You don't have to complete it, you only have to complete half of it until you get the item. And then the ring of visibility. I'm not too sure if you have to complete Desert Treasure for this, but yeah guys, you need ring of visibility and uh, a lot of teleports. And there, there are many paths actually to get this. I was uh, chosen path one, and for to like to show which path you got, you're gonna have to look in the dialogue. Who do you have to talk to first? And I'll be leaving all the paths in the description below. So this is a video for path one. If you're not uh, path one. Uh, and you're not looking for Renard in the beginning, don't watch the uh, the ending of this video because you'll be going to the wrong path. So check in the description with paths you have. And items needed are some energy pots. I definitely recommend bringing energy pots. Uh, castle Wars, a ring of dueling to teleport to Castle Wars for quicker banking. And at the beginning, you have to go here to games room and then follow the path I'm going to to talk to Mysterious Ghost here. And please please note, you do need a ghost speak amulet to talk to any of the ghosts and a ring of visibility to show them. And once you found out which path you had, like I said before, this is path one. So for you people using path one, you're going to have to teleport to Ardoni. So I would recommend going to Castle Wars for quick banking and grabbing all the uh, uh, items needed to teleport to Ardoni, which is two laws and two waters. And you guys are going to need uh, Ring of Visibility and the Ghost Beak Amulet still. And you're going to need a knife to get through the uh, web. And follow the uh, path that I'm taking into the wilderness. And this, you're going to be in the level 55 wilderness. If you're scared of dying, make sure you bring some food. But I wouldn't really recommend it if you're in an unpopulated world. And just follow the path that I take over here. And note that you're going to need a Ghost Beak Amulet and a Risen Visibility. And a knife because you're going to need to cut through a web. And it is much recommended that once you're over here for the quickest banking method, you go to Mage Bank, pull the lever, and cut these two uh, webs over here. And once you made it to Mage Bank, uh, get your quickest teleport method to Edgeville. I myself had to use the Varrock teleport. And from this point on, if you guys have a glory with two charges, two at most is all you really need. That would be perfect for the rest of this uh, the mini quest. And once you're here, teleport to Varrock, make your way to Edgeville, and then follow the route I take, and note that you're going to be in the wilderness again in this part. And if you guys don't have a glory teleport method, make sure you bring some Falador runes, and take the method I take over here to get your ghostly whatever this guy gives you, and then make your way back to the 20 wilderness and teleport to Falador, and I'll get back to you when I'm at Falador. Once you made your way to Falador, go to the nearest uh, bank and bank any armor at all because we're going to be going to Entrana. You guys can bring teleport methods to Lumbridge because that's where our next location is after this. And once you've made your way to Entrana, you're going to have to talk to one of the uh, mysterious ghosts or one of the ghosts in the um, in the uh, church area over here next to the high priest. And he'll give you your ghostly whatever it is. And then for this method, uh, you can't really bring a glory over here. So I would most recommend uh, teleporting back to Lumbridge. Because the next spot we're going to have to go to is the, uh, the Wizard's Tower. And I'll get back to you guys once we're at the Wizard's Tower. And once we're in the uh, Wizard's Tower, we're going to have to go on the first floor and talk to this mysterious ghost over here. And he'll give you your ghostly robes. And the next method for Path 1, we're going to have to go back to Ardoni. So make sure you bring two water runes and two law runes. And then I'll meet you. I'll get back to you guys there when we're at the lever. And once you guys are back to the Ardoni lever, please note you are going to need a knife because this is in the wilderness and bring food if you do need. And once we're at this web over here, slash it. And instead of going west like we did at the beginning, we're going to have to go east uh, to the bandits camp or the rogues camp. And just follow the path that I take to get here. 
and then on the second floor, the uh, mystery, the last mysterious ghost is going to be here, and you're gonna have to look around for him. It took me kind of a while to find him since he's wearing ghostly and it's like see through. And yes, this is the last ghost we're going to have to talk to, and the dialogue for this one is really long and really boring. So just spam click, and you should get your uh, ghostly cape. I believe it was for this one. And yeah, guys, this was uh, ghost. How to get ghostly robes? This is uh, the mini quest kind of, sort of thing. And yeah, guys, um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this. All right, peace, guys.